for females. And so B2 is going to be equal to 4.4. Now, where some of the confusion comes in with people trying this is to keep in mind that this B1 male, when male equals 1, you're left with adding some number, B1, plus the female y-intercept. And so all you're asking is, this female y-intercept was 150. What do I have to do to minus 150 in order to get the y-intercept for males, which we said was minus 325? Well, in order to take 150 and turn it into 325, we have to um, subtract another 175. And so if we want to make it into the male equation, we have to subtract 175. So B2 equals minus 175. Not B2, sorry, B1. And lastly, B3 male height. Just put in male as 1. What do you have? You have a B3 times height, which is going to get added to the B2 times height, which is the slope for females times height. So all we're doing is asking, what do I have to do to the slope of the female equation, which is 4.4, to convert it into a 7.3 slope? Well, 7.3 minus 4.4 is a difference of 2.9 in the slope. So to go from a 4.4 slope to make it into the male slope, that B3 is uh, going to equal 2.9 so that when we use it to predict what we're going to get is uh, the equation for males. Let's just predict my weight using this equation. What will we do? We're going to, since I'm a male, minus 150 plus a minus 175 times 1 since I'm a male. Okay minus 150 minus 175 uh, plus 4.4 times my height 4.4 times 73 since I'm six foot one plus 2.9 times 1 times my height well that's just another 2.9 times 73 and so what do we have here in this formula we're going to end up with minus 325 plus 4.4 and 2.9, 7.3 times my height. We get the same equation for males because I'm a male, and the prediction for my weight is 207.9. Now, actually, I'm this point right here. I'm in this data set, <clears throat> and I weigh a little bit more than what this equation predicts. Now, if you wanted to do, use this equation for females, remember, since male is zero, that disappears, and the B3 male height disappears, and you're just left with the equation for females. Minus 150 plus 4.4 times the height of a female. I hope this second example helps you understand.